Hello everyone, in this video we are going to replicate this map of the European Union with leaflet. First of all, we need to load these packages. Now, let's use this function to check the IS code for the countries. Let me show. Basically, we need this, uh, this code here to download latitude and longitude data for these countries. So, I'm going to store uh, these, uh, these codes in this object. Let's check it. So, these are all the ISO code for uh, European Union members. Let's check that we have all the members. 27, yes, correct. Now, I'm going to generate a list with no elements. And this list will be the container of the data that we are going to download. So let me show you here. This is my working directory and I deleted all the data for these countries. So I'm going to download again. And to download, I'm going to use this for loop function. Basically, this is just to avoid to write this 27 times. If you're not familiar with for loop, let me explain a little bit. Basically, this is the function for, and we have here three key elements. A uh, synthetic name, this can be uh, any name. Usually you find I or J. In this case, I'm using uh, country underscore code. And this is because here, in this object, we have uh, country codes. This in is an operator. So we are checking this synthetic name in this object. And this is a sequence, basically. And in our case, is this one. So, uh, now, we have always to be consistent. So if we are choosing country underscore code as a name, we have to place this name where we need uh, in the code. And in our code, we need here, and we need here. So basically, when the loop starts, uh, starts the first element will be this one AUT and this is the code for Austria and we will find this code here so AUT here and here this function will download the data from this database for this country in this case will be Austria for uh, level equal zero because we want the, the country level and this will be stored this position and this will be uh, named AUT. When the when it finish uh, it finishes it starts again, and in the second position will be this one BEL the stand for Belgium, and this will be here and here, and this will download the data for Belgium, and that will be stored here with the BEL, and this will continue until the end. Basically, the loop will stop after uh, Sweden. So. Let's run. Okay, it finished. Let's check here now my working directory. I have all the data. Let's view the one for Spain. And as you can see, we can use dollar mark uh, ESP for Spain. Now, this is a list of length one. Here yeah, we check that it's for Spain. Now, what I want to do is put all this data all together. For this, I use the rbind function. So let's run this one. Let's check. This is a special polygons data frame. Let's view it. Now, as you can see, we have a list of length 27. And these are all the countries. Let's check it. And these are all the U members. 
Now, let's plot our first map. Let me enlarge this one. Okay. So let's run this code. And this is our map of European Union. Now, I want to add some data. For this example, we are going to add data for uh, the population of each member. Basically, we are going to, uh, to use the same code that we use for the map of Japan. So I'm going to download the data for, uh, for population from this uh, Wikipedia page, list of European Union member states by population. Let's run this code. And this is the table in that uh, in that page. Let's view it. Now, from this table, let's take only column two and column three. Now, let's rename these two columns. These are uh, the members and the population. Now let's remove this uh, last row with the total. And now I'm going to reorder all this data by member uh, in alphabetical order. Let's run. As you can see now, we have Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, Croatia. And here we had Germany, France. You can check Germany. And it's here. Germany. France is here. Yeah. So everything is fine. Let's continue. And if you watch the previous video where we plotted the map of Japan, you already knew what we are going to do. Basically, here, population is not numeric. Let's check the class. So now, the first step is to remove all the commas. And now we can make this as numeric. Let's check. Now we have numeric. Now we're ready to plot uh, with the data for population. And basically, this is the same code that we use for the map of Australia. So we are generating some color here with this color quantile. Now let's plot. Basically, these add polygons uh, will make the shape of the country with the data in this EU. And we are filling the color with this one. Pop up, we are adding uh, information about member with the name and population with its value. Here, just we are making some adjustment for the color. And here, uh, we are adding the legend. And this is our map. Now, what we want to do is to change here. As you can see, now the colors here are based on quantile. And what we want to do is make this one, uh, we, want to, we want to make this as uh, continuous numeric values. This, we are going to use this function color numeric and the code is the same. Let's run again.
And this is the same map I show you at the beginning. The next video we are going to re uh, reproduce the map of European Union with the same data, but we are going to use uh, ggplot. I hope this is uh, useful, and if you enjoy this video, see you in the next one.